What I'm saying is that we're designed to live between 95 and 105 in great health without heart disease, without high blood pressure, without diabetes, dementia, or depression, obesity, if we, if we fed our bodies properly from a younger age. But everybody gets sick in America. So I'm, so I'm saying that um, it's normal to become overweight and it's normal for a person to feel driven to overeat calories, which is a form of addiction. The minute you're putting oil and sugar and concentrated white flour and concentrated calories that flood the body very rapidly, you're overstimulating dopamine in the brain and you're developing a desire to overconsume calories that have an addictive um, biological um, underpinnings. So everybody has some of the, some degree of addiction driving them to overeat calories in America, and they almost all overeat calories and eat outside of the demands of hunger. You mentioned that we are overstimulating dopamine in the brain by eating these highly processed toxic foods. Doesn't that eventually lead to dopamine insensitivity so that we're not even really getting the pleasure from these foods? Yeah, but that's why you have to eat more of the foods. That's why people just can't eat a couple of potato chips or a couple of spoonfuls of ice cream. But they can't eat a cup of ice cream. They have to eat the whole. They got to go in their freezer and take out more. They got to go after more food and more calories. So one burger isn't enough. And you got to have the bigger soda now with it and the French fries with it. So, yes, it leads to the, of course, we have some people that are really obese. And, it's, and I'm also su suggesting it's more complicated than that because it also affects depressive centers in the brain. Dopamine insensitivity also leads to more depression. And, and when you eat these processed foods and you have dopamine insensitivity, it makes you more, risk, more likely to become depressed. But even those people that don't develop major depression also develop a dysthymic syndrome. So as you're eating these processed foods, the word dysthymic syndrome means you're not feeling emotionally excited about life. You have a depressed attitude and depressed thought processes, lower creativity, lower productivity, and you can't solve the problems in your life. You're stuck in a cycle of eating, feeding your, addi feeding your addiction, and letting the rest of your life suffer. You can't be as good a parent, a good father, a good husband, a good worker. You can't even be the, per be the person you are because it lowers your intelligence and creativity, even when you don't become depressed. So there's a link between diabetes and depression, overweight and obesity, processed foods, sugar intake, dopamine sensitivity is linked to the lack of the ability to make good choices for your future life. You're focused on, on, how should I say, you're focused on serving the most primitive part of your brain, seeking stimulation to satisfy addiction. And the cerebral part of your brain, the thinking most creative part, gets, gets, the, gets the shaft. And you no longer be the full person you are. So what I'm saying here is that um, the American processed food diet reduces intellectual creativity, productivity, and happiness in, in, the, in our population to a tremendous degree that's unrecognized. Yeah, and I believe you, and you write about this extensively in your wonderful book, Fast Food Genocide. So does it become like a vicious cycle, Dr. Furman, where they're seeking out these foods to get the stimulation from dopamine, but then be, they become dopamine insensitive, so they're looking for more and more where it, it, they're, they're still not getting the pleasure that they once had when they first started eating these foods. 